Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, and if you watched the last episode, we... We actually beat the Artisan's World. We have 102 done. We completed the... Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see, but my mouse is on the screen, so I'm just going to move that off. So, we completed all of this. We... I didn't even know those were Nors. So... All of these are done. I didn't know. I'm just quickly showing you these because I didn't show you them last time. And these are pretty good, actually. So that's all of that done. And now we're going on to Ripto's Rage. I'm pretty sure that I won't spoil anything, so I'll just let you guys into the video. Hope you enjoy. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one, there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! I'm not really your biggest fan right now, dude. Crush, kill it! Kill it! <laughs> You imbecile! You hate my scepter! <laughs> I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Okay, so... Those characters that were just introduced are... Some of my favorite characters. They're... Not my least favorite character. Soon... Or, or sorry. Soon you'll meet my least favorite character. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. And it looks like you are too. 
After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Okay, I do like that it teaches you, like, skills, like, you can learn how to climb and a bunch of other stuff, like, he knows how to glide already, but that's pretty much all that he can do right now. Ah, you must be the this is Moneybags. He's well, one of my least favorite not, characters. A small fee to open the bridge. It will so, he pretty much just extorts you a bunch, which is why I don't really like him. Also, they, like, really reinvented him. He looks, like, a lot friendlier than he... Actually, I think he looks a lot more cartoony than he used to. Like, the other one used to look very cuddly. He... He looks different. I'll try to put up a comparison if I can. Yeah, I'll pay Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Yeah, and they give out talismans, which I do actually love instead of needing to talk to dragons. But, like, I find it adds, like, a unique aspect to each world. So that's why I prefer talismans over what they used to do. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. But I'm pretty sure that they switched out, like, dragons for orbs. But, like, they made it so you need to do little side missions like I just did to get them instead of just talking to them. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah! They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. 
Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. If you talk to these people, they actually, like, train you. Like, I'm pretty sure it's Hunter who teaches you how to climb, but I'm not 100% sure. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just... Also, money bags can teach you how to swim, but... For a fee, you can kind of hear it in my voice that I still don't really like him. So, let's talk to the fawn. I'm trying to remember her name. Well, let's just talk to her. It should tell us. Spyro, this is Elora. the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. I remember the first time I did that, it took me like 10 minutes because I kept falling down. Oh, hey, I left stuff, so I need to jump back down. Yeah, it would just be... I can't remember how I managed to mess it up, but I do remember it took me, like, forever to get this right. So this is what I was talking about when I said they would, like, train you. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. I'm pretty sure I never even completed this one. I'm pretty sure I always got stuck on the hover one. But in my defense, he doesn't explain that well. And this is where he teaches you how to swim, but I'm pretty sure I already told you that. For a small fee, of course. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Oh, this is the one with, like, those wooden guys. I remember this so, vi so vividly. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! 
They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. And I'm pretty sure another thing that this game did that, like, the other Spyro didn't was just, like, have normal talking characters, because, like, before it was, like, you were either a dragon or you were an enemy, but now you need to, like, help people. So that's what I remembered from this, too. Good there, bud. Well, proceed, I guess. One thing that I don't like about this game is that you need to, like, learn skills to go back. Like, if you look in this water, in it there's, like, little gems. So that means that I need to complete this level, talk to Moneybag so that he'll teach me how to swim, and then I need to come back to this level in order to complete this level. So you kind of need to only do like passing the first try you can't ever fully complete it look at that the hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a roman candle now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. That's another thing that I like that this game added. It like added that they'll either befriend the monsters or whatever was attacking them or they'll learn to defend themselves so like it always does that after every cutscene which is nice. Hello there Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great! Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to... Okay, so I just came back and collected the gems because now I can swim and... Now I'm going to talk to this guy about the orb, and it looks like we're going to need to do some kind of jumping pattern on those boxes to get the orb, which is probably in there. And then we'll have this level complete. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox.
Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that Yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. I think I can manage. I have changed my mind. Well, that was a lot more violent I than I intended. He was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You're damn right there, bud. I'm a regular Sidney Crosby right now, bud. All in. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Well done. Have this. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? -on -one? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. this if you stare at it long you can keep practicing if you want but you have to be off the ice you can keep pra okay well this is where I'll leave this episode of Spyro Ripto's Rage I think this one is I'd like to say that the highlight of this was me playing hockey and doing an aggressive Canadian impression, so hope you liked it. If you liked it, like it and subscribe, and if you didn't, comment down below how I can make it better. Okay. Also, follow my Twitter, which is in the description below, so that I know what you guys want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Tonight was born to fight